YouTube and plenty of other places, you can see people talking about Winplot, which is a free application, kind of like a graphing calculator for your computer. And lots of tutorials online help you figure out how to use it. And uh, if you go to download it, do a search for Winplot in Google or something, uh, Peanut Software offers this, and you'll notice that it's a exe or executable file designed to be run in the Windows environment. Uh, well, don't lose hope if you're running uh, Mac OS X or Linux or some other uh, Unix-based operating system because there's something called Wine that will help. And I don't mean recreationally. This is actually called uh, Wine is uh, Windows is not an emulator, or Wine is not an emulator, rather, is what it stands for. And uh, when you download that and install it, uh, you can go ahead and get it running. And you can create a prefix. And what it'll do is it'll take your, uh, your exe file. Go ahead and select the file that we downloaded from Peanut Software. And uh, go ahead and press Install. And it'll create um, a Mac OS uh, operating. There's other versions of this for other operating systems, uh, but this is the Mac one. Uh, let's see, we'll call this uh, win plot. <coughs> I'm going to put that in the desktop. Go ahead and save that. And it's uh, linking together and running the installer right now. And it's going to put it in something that it thinks it's Windows when it really isn't. Putting lots of little glue and patches. So this is the same um, thing that you would f find. Um, I like to put it in my documents there and go ahead and unzip that and close and then uh, select the start file which would be this one right here the one I just specified and we've created the prefix successfully so now when I go to my Mac OS to see there's my application it looks like a Mac application now double click it and it's loading it up and here is um, my wine message, and here is my win plot. There it is. So we can go ahead and make a new two-dimensional window, uh, make a new equation. Oh, I don't know, maybe x minus 2, x plus 1. And I want to see that nice little plot. And there's nice little things you can do with the little slider here. You can um, play around with it all you want. And you'll notice that I didn't have to start, whoops, <laughs> didn't have to start Windows or um, Parallels or anything. This is just running right there uh, using uh, the X11 component of the Mac OS X. So good luck to you.